Today I'll be talking about tips on how Gabriel and I are managing our finances and how we agree on things to ensure that we don't quarrel when it comes to money, who buys what and all of that. First of all, we understand that there is nothing like his money or her money, it's our money and we get to agree on that and that was one of the discussions we had before we got married. So I urge you if you've, you're still dating your significant other and you're not married yet, ensure that you have the money conversation with them because coming from different two different races, it's difficult. The way we handle money is different from the way they handle money and if you don't get to agree, you would have a lot of issues because from African point of view, Africans are, especially the female Africans, are some of them are more conservative when it comes to money they are more careful to spending they are more prone to budgeting however the european seems to like spend a lot <laughs> so there are two different cultures and mindsets some not all i'm not generalizing i'm just talking from my own personal experience so having an agreement on things about finances would help in ensuring that you don't have all of these issues and misunderstanding. There are some tips that helps us in terms of our finances. One that I've mentioned earlier, which is understanding that money is our money. There's nothing like his money, her money, it's our money. When we earn, we don't hide money from each other. We we are transparent. I know the password and login details to Gabriel's account. Sometimes I go in there and I transfer money and he just receives a lot. So, but he understands that whatever money I'm taking is for things that we've agreed for. So first of all, we are very transparent when it comes to money. I know his password and all of that. We don't hide things. We show, we are transparent to show our account balances. We, he knows what I earn on my pay slip. I know what he earns on his pay slip. And the second thing is we budget together. We understand that two, two of us are different. One person is more conservatory when it comes to spending and one person is all out there, can buy the whole world. <laughs> so we understand that we all have our differences and our weaknesses. So we ensure that the person that is more conservative when it comes to money, manage the budget like oversees the budget we agree on what we are how much to spend on each category like our rent and bills are all of those ones are fixed we know how much for insurance and phone bills and all of that but some other variable expenses like transportations and food groceries those are the things that we agree on we have a set amount that we agree on those for example, our food budget, if we've had, if we agreed on something, the person that is more conservatory would monitor the budget and if we are already in with two and we are spent, we've spent 70% of our budget, that person that monitors the budget will, will raise a red flag that, can we be mindful? We are already, we've spent 75% of budget and we are just 50% into the month. That means we'll cut down on things. We we'll try to go into, we we'll shop from ourselves. So rather than going to buy things, for example, if we've run out of pasta, rather than going to buy pasta, if we have rice, if we have yam, if we had other things, beans, can we eat, shop what we have and try to use that instead of going back to buy pasta? Same for all other things. So we try to utilize things we already have if we are running over closer to uh, the budget of our grocery. And another tip that helps us is that we discuss things. We have a, an amount that we agree on this amount and below we can spend without consulting ourselves but this amount and above we have to consult ourselves before we spend so it can be like doing sending money to parents and all of that buying things so if it's above our limit we have to consult ourselves consulting is not like we're taking permission from ourselves to spend money we are just asking that okay i have i saw this post that i really like it costs 500 pounds is it okay if i buy it <laughs> and then we'll discuss it is it really necessary do you just the is it do you have another post or is it necessary so we just have a discussion around it another thing that helps us in managing our budget is that we tend to see look look out for ways we can cut down on expenses for example instead of going we like go, doing day trips and all of that so instead of booking hotel for like five nights we'll, we'll look at other alternative places like we like going to the beach for example and instead of going booking hotel going on vacation for a beach that is far away that will require us booking hotel and all of that we'll look at cities closer to us that is like two hours drive one hour drive that we can drive there early in the morning would we'll 
enjoy the beach as much as possible take a lot of pictures take a lot of videos and come back so that means we are only spending money on diesel we are not spending money on hotel and all, all of that additional cost and you know when you're lodging in hotel you also spend money on food and all of that so we try to look for alternative cheaper ways of um not spending money another thing that helps us in managing our budget and finances is that we look for alternative instead of going to restaurants we go to restaurants once in a while but instead of going to restaurants every other day we look out for we like cooking in fact i can't remember the last time i cooked but gabriel cooks a lot so we we'll look at ways that he can cook we can go to shopping to the grocery store buy a lot of the recipe and he will cook the delicious meal we enjoy we have date night so we have less of going to restaurant to eat we eat more at home we do our date night dramatic date nights we dress up for the dates but we would do it at home which costs us less another thing is we try to see movies at home as well we still go out to movies but not often we can go out to movies like once in a month or once in two months or not so often sometimes we have we make our popcorn and we have our movies we enjoy our company sometimes we also host friends we go out for shopping we can go to friends place to cook or we invite them over to our place and we cook for them so that that way we are spending time together we're doing all of the things we like but we are not spending as much money as possible another thing is we understand our needs and our wants our needs obviously is shelter food and all of those necessities our wants are buying extra new pair of sneakers every other month buying new pair of jackets every week so we try as much as possible not to spend every week on wants for example we have a lot of nice clothes we have a lot of nice t-shirts sneakers and all of that jacket we don't need to buy all of those every month we try to cut down on spending on how often we spend on our wants and we also review our budget monthly so for example if because sometimes creating a budget is important but tracking your budget to ensure that you're not exceeding your budget is something that is also very very important every month we track our finances one of us the one that is more conservatory is the one that is more into finances checking how much have we spent is what did we spend on was that even necessary sometimes if you watch some of our vlog we we'll notice that when we are trying to buy something one person will be saying why do we need to buy this thing is it necessary <laughs> so the person is just doing the normal checks in ensuring that we are not overspending and another thing is we discuss and we prioritize investing when we receive income we don't just spend it we first of all save out of it invest out of it and we spend what is left because if you don't save or invest first you end up spending everything and you would struggle to even save 10 pound out of your monthly income so those are some of the ways that we'll try to ensure that we are keeping on track of our money and we are not discuss we are not quarreling a lot over our finances thank you for watching bye